Let's go, champ. What's good with the YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, The Realist of the Real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real Talk Boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. We're going to jump right back on Canelo Alvarez. <clears throat> I felt like I was made to make this video. I have a couple of other videos that, you know, different content that I want to make. But I got to jump on this right quick because for some strange reason, when I disagree um, on a, a particular fighter that Canelo may be facing next, you know, you get labeled, you get labeled as a hater. You get labeled as, you know, oh, you're jumping on the bandwagon saying that Canelo's cherry picking. It's not even the case. It's not even the case. You know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. At this point in time, <clears throat> I'm done saying fighters are cherry pickers. This doesn't only go for Canelo. It goes for anybody else. I'm done saying fighters are cherry pickers. You know why? Because these fighters, 80% of fighters nowadays are businessmen. Mike Tyson said it best. These are businessmen. All right? The world of boxing has changed. If you don't know, it has changed dramatically, drastically since the old days, man. They don't fight near as much as fighters used to fight. There's fighters that used to fight four or five times a year, some even more than that. 15 rounds, way back in the day, 30 rounds. You know what I'm saying? It's just different. A different, a different cloth, flat out, point blank, period. They're businessmen. I understand that now. I do. And nowadays, fighters are doing what they think is best for their pockets, for their livelihood. And who am I as a spectator, a fan? To call another fighter, a professional fighter at that, which I'm not a cherry picker. I just don't. This is just my opinion now. I'm speaking for myself. I'm not going to call any fighters anymore cherry pickers. Now, we can definitely view certain things that Canelo does as cherry picking. Now, I would rather see him fight Benavidez instead of Charlo, instead of Makabu. I've, I've explained that. I've explained it time and time again. But because I disagree with the Charlo fight, there's people out there saying, oh, now real talk, you wanted him. You 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 saying he he cherry when, when you gonna give Canelo credit? Have I not given Canelo credit time and time again? But just because I don't agree with this fight, I don't give him credit now. I've always given him credit. And I've never called him a cherry picker. Now, are there certain instances that would Make me think that? Of course. Is there is there some instances that would make me say, no, he's not? Of course. You know, that's, that's up to me and my decision. But I decide not to call him a cherry picker or anybody else. Because if we're going to call him a cherry picker, we can call a lot of the other greats out there cherry pickers. Yes or no? It is what it is. Point of it is, we're dealing with businessmen now. All right, and it's about the bag. It's about the bag now, y'all. Certain fighters can do what they want when they want. I've stated it before too. Canelo's one of those fighters. Now, the Charlo fight will make money. It's lucrative. People will buy it. People will watch it. And that's people saying that, hey, Canelo ducked Charlo. Could I also say that? Yeah, I could. But I don't think so. My heart of hearts, I don't think so. Is is the fact that he may fight Charlo a cherry pick? I don't know possibly, but I'm not going to call it that. I would just rather see him fight David Benavidez. Is he not, is he not the number one ranked challenger for the WBC? Now we jump on David Benavidez for making two mistakes. He has two mistakes. First time, you know, Second time, shame on you, okay? But really, when you look at it, he's undefeated. And he's hungry, and it will make for an exciting fight. Those people like to say that Charlo has a bigger name. 
And the Cholo would be an exciting fight. Possibly, yes. But I'd still rather see him fight Benavidez. Because he's not, am I going to call him a cherry picker? No, I'm not. I'm not. There's a lot more that goes into trying to set up a fight than just two fighters wanting a fight. Would I like to see Errol Spence versus Crawford? Yes, I would love to see that fight. And I think that I said that Errol Spence was ducking him. And I take that back. I'm not even going to say that no more. I'm not. It's up to their discretion. And who knows what's the cause? What's really the cause? Because all we can do is speculate and go by what we see, by what we know. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. So I'm not even going to worry about that. What I'm going to worry about is the fights and when they happen. And I'm done calling fighters cherry pickers. I'm done. It's not for me to say. I can. But I'm not going to do it. Because I'm not in that ring jeopardizing my life like they are. It's easy for us as spectators, as fans, to say that. We're not the ones in there. Yeah, we're the one paying the money. We're the one putting, you know, money in their bank, into their pockets, definitely. And the fans want what they want. But you got to understand now, these are businessmen we're dealing with. These are businessmen. At one point in time, they were natural born killers. At one point in time, they were willing to get in there and fight anybody at any given time because they was hungry. But once you get to a certain status, you do what you want. And I ain't mad at you. I'm not mad at you at all. So I ain't calling nobody else a duck. I ain't calling nobody else a cherry pick because if we can call one a cherry pick, we can call all the others a cherry pick. And that's just my opinion. But as far as me not giving Canelo credit just because I don't agree with the Charlo fight, I'd rather see him fight Benavidez, that's nuts. Obviously, you have not seen the rest of my Canelo Alvarez videos. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to respect these fighters. I'm going I'm to respect the sport for what it has become. I ain't got no other choice. I got to get with the times. Businessmen, people, that's what we're dealing with. What do you think? Comment down below. Let me know. As always, respect all, fear none. God bless. The next time Real Talk Boss, and I'm up, and I'm out of here, baby. Click, click, boom.